All right, welcome back. So let's do some exercise, some basic exercise. So if you want, you can pause this video and try yourself. Otherwise, we can do it together. So actually, it's very simple. We already did a few of them in the last videos. So let's try the first one. I will remove everything from the editor. Oh, I'm already logged in. Okay, let's go log out. And let's see the first exercise. It says your output is a result of two inputs in an OR gate. So when any of this input is true, the output should be true. We did that already, but I can do it again for you. So you can try along with me. So we have two inputs. One is this, and another one should come in parallel because if any of the input is true, then only the output should be true. So let's take an output real quick here. And I take the branching mode. I'm already in the branching mode. So here I have my input, i0.1 I take, and i0.2. You should notice which input you are taking, because I'm taking the input which are normally open in my trainer. If you take normally close, then the logic will change. So that's my two inputs and one, one output. So this should work. Let's try that real quick. Download, download, override. So the task says, if any of the input is true, the output should be true. That's what your OR gate is, okay? If any of this is true. So let's see, programming, and go online. So both are false at the moment. Output is false. I select the first one, output is true, or I select the other one, the output is true. Super easy, right? This is what was asked in the question. Second one is the AND gate. AND gate means if both the inputs are true, then only the output should be true. So both inputs should be true at the same time. In this case, you can um, quickly go log out. This will come over here. This I can delete. This is now an AND gate. That's represented by a dot, okay? Dot is in Boolean is AND. Now log in. DC to controller, yes, yes. So this is my AND gate. So first I will actuate the false input and then I have to do the second one, then only the output will be true or I can actuate the second one first, the first one later. <laughs> the idea is both should be true, right? For example, if I turn on second one first, the first should also be true, then the output should be true. I think PLC is not running. Let's run the PLC. Let's try again. You can see output is dependent on two inputs. So both the inputs are true then only the output should be true, all right? This is your AND gate. Now comes the next one. Output is inverse of the input. This we see in the last video how you were using negated input, okay? So this you can do either take the NC of input. Here you have to take the NC of input because this bar means negate. Or you can also take in a way that this bar is on the outside, output side. This will also work similar way. Next one is interesting. The output is the AND gate of I in one and negate of I in two. Let's try that. And gate is the output of I in one. I in one, let's say this is I in one or I zero dot one, and this should be negate. It is like this. That's how it is solved. The output is I in one and I in two negate. So what will happen if I do this? Let's go log in. DC to controller, download. Now in this case, because my push buttons are normally open, so my push button, which is NO2, I don't have to press that. Because if that is false from the outside, it is true inside, because it's an inverse. In this case, the output will be true if I just actuate IN0. I have to run the PLC. So if I just actuate the first one, my output is true. Because second one, I don't have to press. But if I press the second one, then the output will be false, okay? So output is true only if my first input is true and second is false, okay? That's, that's how output will be true. If I reverse the situation, if I put negate here, then I have output will be only true if this is true and this is false, okay? Let's, let's try that. So in this case, I can actuate the output only with I, I0.1, only the first input, okay? 
which is actually the second part of this cushion. The negate is on IN1. So in this case, I can take negate here. Now let's download. Now the output is true only when I press IN2. IN1 I don't have to press because it's already negated, already sending the true signal. I have to actuate IN2, then the output will be true. Right, run the PLC now. IN1 I don't press, IN2 I press and output is true. Okay, if I press IN1, it will be false. So if I press both the inputs, output is false. Output is on only if one input is true, which is IN2 in this case. So now what happens if I combine both the cases, like the before and this one, but in parallel? So let's see what we can do that. So right now I'm in the branching mode. I can take a contact. I take it like this. And this one, I can perhaps take it inside. Let's see how we can do it. A P. Not like this. Okay, let's try one more way. I will delete the branch. I will go to the normal mode and I take now NO contact, NC contact here. So this was NC on the top rung. Here it's NO, I0.1. This is NO on the top rung. This here is NC, I0.2. Now I want to make a line here. What you can do is take a pencil and just draw a line. This is also possible, okay? Then you can go back to your arrow. So now what is this? This is IN1 bar dot IN2, then IN1 dot IN2 bar. They are in parallel. What will this do? If you know, this is representation of a ZOR gate, exclusive OR gate. In a ZAR gate, if any of the input is true, the output is true, okay? If both the inputs are true, output is false. If both are false, output is false. You can see that now. So if I actuate IN1, this rung will be true, output will be true. If I actuate IN2, this will be true and output is true. So let's try the first one, okay? Run the PLC. There you go. I actuate the first input. You can see how the rung is completed. The logic is uh, true in the second, in the parallel run, and the output is true. If I release it, it's false. If I go to the second run, the top rung is true, okay, or the top line is true, and the output is true. If I press both of them, you will see output is false because we have NC of each in the top rung and the bottom rung. It will disconnect. It will not let the signal pass. So output is only on if one of the input is true. If both are true, output is false. If none of them is true, output is false. And this is actually a presentation of a ZAR gate. You can see that here I just take the same one and put a plus in between because plus is parallel. Okay. Now, similarly, you can also make NAR gate and NAND gate. So there are two ways to make it. Let's make it like this, NAR gate. By the way, in uh, in ZAR gate, you also have ZAR gate in the in the software, which actually I haven't tried yet. But let's try it together. So instead of writing uh, making these four contacts, you can make a ZAR gate directly at I believe from here. So let's try that. It's uh, interesting for me to check because this ZAR gate uh, operation I haven't seen it in any other PLC programming software. So let's see how it works. So let's just remove everything. I take ZAR and I put it here. So let's see what's the meaning of that. I take help. How to use the ZAR gate. There, ZAR, so ZAR operation perform an exclusive OR operation between the operand and the Boolean result of the preceding instruction. Okay, so it performs exclusive OR with the rungs before this contact. Let's see how this works. So I will take here normally open contact. Let's call it I0.1 and exclusive OR with I0.2. Like I said, we were taking two inputs. Now here I just take ZOR. Let's see if it works the same way like we did before. 
download. And let's go to play. So now we have input one false. I will turn on the input. Okay, works great. Output is true. I'm wondering why can't I see it here? Let's try again. It's not getting green, which is strange, but in the watching table, you can see it's one. And if I press another input, output is true again, which is very good. Let's log out and log in one more time. Okay, that's enough. No, it's not showing in the run. It's a bit strange. Stop controller, stop controller. I'm curious why it's not showing green here. Is it because of the czar? I doubt it. It could be a PLC bug. All right, so I, I can't see it. So if you see, if I actuate my first input, output is true. This was happening in the last ZOR gate as well. If I actuate this one, also output is true. That's correct. And if both are false, output is false. If I press both the inputs, also the output is false. So this is working exactly what we wanted using just the ZOR instructions from here. And it also says that you have ZOR N, ZOR R, and ZOR F. ZAR N instruction perform an exclusive order operation between the inverse of the operand and the Boolean result of the, okay. In this case, it will take the inverse of this operand. So if you want to have inverse operation of this I0.2, it will do ZAR with that, okay? Feel free to play around with that if you like. And then R, I believe, is with the rising edge of the operand and Boolean result, and F is the falling edge. So rising and falling edge, we didn't talk about that yet, but we will do that in the next video. So just you can you consider at the moment using the czar here like this. Okay, so let's go log out. And the next one was, this I give you as an assignment. Just try this one, in not dot in2 plus in3 dot in4 not gate. So tell me how the output will be true. Just play around, try yourself. Let's try the nor gate and nand gate. Nor gate is actually the negate of the or operation of two inputs. So first you take two inputs, so there are two ways to make a NOR gate. Let's just delete that one. Something wrong with my keyboard. Okay, now it's fine. So first we take an R gate, which is this one, and then in the parallel, this one. So I take I0.1 and I0.2. So two are in parallel. This is my R gate. Now there's a whole negate on top. How can you use that? So like I said, there are two ways to do it. One is you use a negate operation after this. So here you can use negate and this you can take from here, I believe, not. So take a not gate, connect like this. So this is not operation of to and operation. This is your nor gate. So what happens in nor gate? Let's try and check the result. system loaded let's run it so now you can see that already my output is true why it's true because zero and zero the output is zero okay output is false but it could, because it's not here it becomes true that's why the output is true now if i actuate one of my input output goes off why because this one input is giving a true signal to the not gate the not gate is giving a false signal to the outside that's why output is off if I actuate another input, again, output will be false for the same reason. And if I actuate both of them, 
Again, output is all for the same reason. So input side should be false, then only the NOT operation will make it true to the output. So output is true only if none of the inputs are true. That's NOR gate, okay? So like I told you, there are two ways to make this gate. And if you're familiar with De Morgan's theorem, this is what you studied when you do Boolean algebra. What I do is I will add uh, a new rung and I will solve the same logic using a different way. So if you see this uh, Boolean algebra, it's IN1 plus IN2 whole bar. This is equivalent to IN1 bar dot IN2 bar. So in this case, you replace plus with a dot and you split the bars. So IN1 bar dot IN2 bar. This is the same as IN1 plus IN2 whole bar. This is explaining De Morgan's theorem, so you can go and study that. But I can show you that how. So in this case, I will do IN1 bar. So I'll take an NC. And IN2 bar as well. And in between is dot. Not R, it's AND. This is the same as the other. Let's see if it works. I take the same input, but I change the output. In this case, I take Q0.1, okay? Just to imagine, the result should be same for the upper rung and the lower rung. It's just actuating different outputs, okay? Let's try that. So this is your NAR gate. In function block diagram, it's much easier to realize that, but I hope this is also not so complicated. So now we can see that output is false. These both are false. Now if I actuate one of the input, output is still false in both cases. If I actuate another input, it's still false in both the cases. If I actuate both the inputs, oh, <laughs> let's try one more time. PLC was not running. Now we can see that output is true in both the cases because it's false, false. It's reverse is true, output is true. This was false, so this is true. It was false, it was true, and output is true. If I actuate first input, now you can see that both are false because true is becoming false in the output. Similarly here, true is becoming false in the output. If I actuate both the inputs, again, both the outputs are off, okay? That's how your NOR gate works. So very similar to that is the NAND gate. So I want you to realize the NAND gate as an exercise. First try to solve it like this. Connect both in series and then connect to NOT gate. And then using De Morgan's theorem, you can realize IN1 dot IN2 whole bar is equivalent to IN1 bar plus IN2 bar. Okay. If you want to know more, read the De Morgan's theorem. Solve it for NAND gate and solve this last equation. And then we can proceed with the next lesson. All right. So see you in the next lesson. Until then, enjoy the exercise. Have fun. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.